Today we've got a couple things to do with the Civic. Um, I have a bumper I'm gonna try to put on. Just some quick Zippy Boy repair to my bumper. Oh. Uh, the old bumper is trashed. Um, the tires on my Rega Masters are getting kind of old. Red wear is definitely going down. I'm gonna be putting the stocks back on for now. And Hello! So we got the Rega Masters off, the stockies back on, and it looks weird. It looks so weird. Oh boy. But this is temporary until I can get those wheels ceramic coated. Now, let's do a valve cover. Now there's nothing wrong with the valve cover itself except for the fact that the holes for the spark plugs are stripped out. I'm going to show a picture here of what I had to do to pass smog. I had a bracket hanging over from cylinder 2's spark plug coil pack onto cylinder 3's because the stud broke inside there. So now, oh, where is it? We've got another replacement valve cover. I'm just going to put that on in place of this. Yeah, so not too bad of a valve cover to remove. It's just that those stripped out threads are the only thing holding it in. I mean, holding it back from being a fully functioning valve cover, and I don't want it to look all whack like that. After struggling for a while, stupid things on there. So I finished getting the front bumper back on, RSX wheels on, front lip secured, valve covers changed. She's driving all right right now. But yeah, up next we gotta figure out why the AC isn't working. We gotta test the compressor, but I gotta understand the wiring diagram first. Slowly but surely. A little interior shot at night of the Civic. Can't hear it.
How's your oil pressure? It's pegged. Oil pressure sensor is broken. Again? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It has a torque spec. That's what we learned the hard, the hard, the hard way. It has a torque spec. Nope, can't have nuts. You can have nuts. Totally. No problem, right? A voiceover? Oh yeah, so we rebuilt the IS300 right there. It's completely back to stock. So uh, back, you know? Yeah, so happy. And then we added a, a Sienna to the crew. Hey. Yeah, very good parking. Oh, we <laughs> saw Sienna. Sienna backing up. And... It's another day today. What's up, guys? I'm probably already dirty. My name is Joseph. I run or help run this channel, YouTube channel, Stansuzoku. We are back again working on the Civic. I did an offer up run today. Got a new catalytic converter pipe along with some headers. I got some like, like new depot headlights. <laughs> They're pretty crisp and fresh. You can see how clear the lens is. Today's goal, swap out the headers for those. And then, of course, change the catalytic converter. Because the one installed on the car right now is the one I used to help me pass smog, and that was 500 bucks. I don't want to keep smashing it. This is the California compliant catalytic converter. I've only had it on for two weeks and it's already getting destroyed. There we go. Here it is. Carb compliant. Stupid California. One state over, you don't have to be doing this. What does it matter? Dang, look at that. Okay, so uh, ADHD moment. I'm actually editing this one right now. And uh, I decided that it would be smart if I actually put in my high amperage alternator in before I put the headers in. So that's why I'm doing this. Okay. Down the rabbit's hole we go. So here's the custom bracket I had welded for me. Shout out Mike. Basically the stock mounting bolt is right here in the center. And I had the bracket extended. See those weld marks in the middle? To fit so we could extend the bracket and have more room for this aftermarket alternator right here. Alternator is now in the car, however, it does move side to side, so we need to get a spacer for it. Fill in this gap. And that positive terminal coming off the alternator is touching the AC compressor. It's not looking good, fellas. Got to solve that. Use this as a spacer. Clean it up, we have a nice shiny piece of brass.
All right, so the last clip you saw me tapping a hole uh, or tapping threads into the alternator bracket for the alternator housing itself. And as we can see, it is in with a lot of custom work. All right, so let's go over the three things I had to do to modify this alternator to make it fit in my D17 Honda Civic. Now, starting off with number one, it is these brackets right here that act as spacers. You saw me in the previous clips cutting them off and using the holes in them as a spacer so that they could position the alternator just correctly along the belt drive that goes to the harmonic balancer on the crank pulley and the AC compressor down there. That's modification number one. Modification number two is down here. I remember that bracket I showed you guys earlier, how it was welded and extended? That is because this alternator is bigger than the stock alternator, and those holes had to be pushed out. Otherwise, the positive post, which is right here, see that right there in the center of the screen? If it was bracket was not extended, the alternator will fold down and make contact with the AC compressor. Now, that connects to the positive terminal of battery. We do not need any fires in the engine bay. So, bracket had to get extended. Shout out Mike for that fabrication. RHS fabrication. And third mod, and also in the previous clips, was this bolt right here. I had to tap threads into the alternator housing and put the helicoil in it so that I could put this bolt in here to secure it properly. Ah. Okay. Lots of modifications had to be done, three of them to exact to make this fit in here. So we're going to figure out if it really works once I turn on the car. That's the scary part. bolts are all torqued to spec one two three now I just need to get the side nuts on there and we'll call it a day for this uh, exhaust header well you guys have made it to the end I am currently working on video number two because I had to stretch this video out into two parts um, because I went so far down the rabbit hole working on the Civic about wanting to do things the right way and replacing parts and the Civic's going to get a new radiator, it's going to get a big three copper wire upgrade kit, it's going to get a high amperage alternator, one I just installed, it's going to get a a subwoofer, a thousand watt, no, two thousand watt subwoofer and you know, I just got so many plans for this thing and video number two is going to show how in detail I get with the Civic and how far you know, I'm going to go in the project, so thank you guys for following me down the rabbit's hole. It just, it keeps going from here, so stay tuned for video number two. I'll be seeing you guys soon.